Put you on the spot, John. Go ahead, do it. Hey, welcome to another week of Ball Central. We were talking NFL this week. Uh, we went from the divisional round to now uh, the championship game uh, predictions this week. So uh, this is John, Phil, and Elijah, and uh, another week of Ball Central. And uh, here we go. Hey, how was everyone's week so far? Uh, Phil, we'll start off with you. Not bad. Not, could, Thank you. Could have been a Thank lot you. worse, but so could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. Uh uh, doing good. Um, hey, uh, if you follow us online, we just hit 200 subs on the gaming channel. So shout out to anyone who showed love on the gaming channel. Appreciate y'all. Um, and also, uh, Royal Rumble, WWE's coming up this Saturday. Excited to see that. Me and Elijah got a WWE pod come, drop in probably tomorrow or Saturday. Nice. Um, for that, so tune into that. Plus, hey, a lot of th- big things this week. Excited. Elijah. <laughs> I was about to say, you say Elijah. Elijah, your turn. My bad. Yeah, man, I'm chilling, man. Nice long week working. Very know how it is. That's what's up. How about you, John? I've been chilling. Nothing much going on. I'm about to go to Vermont this weekend uh, with some uh, high school friends. Uh, we're going skiing, and uh, maybe we'll go a little antiquing and, I don't know, do some other stuff. Watch the game. Uh, but uh, it, it should be fun. But uh, – what about you, Phil? Anything else going on with you? Um, nothing much, you know. Also, when you go skiing, don't forget pizza, French fry. Pizza, French fry, yeah. Well, I, I'm more of a curver. Like, if, if I can turn, that's how I'm going to slow down. Because I can always go uphill. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Um, yeah, that's one thing I'm upset we didn't do. We didn't get to go snowboarding at the American Dream. Yeah. At the big snow. But, you know. Yeah. There's always next time. Facts. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm going back next time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you. I mean, you to Newark, yeah. Time. To Newark, yeah. Oh yeah, that's maybe a, we yeah. do some, yeah, a different place. Yeah, I mean, at the air. I mean, yeah, because the Airbnb we got to get over with. But hey, it is what it is. But yeah. um, and other than that, hey, nothing else. Um, hey, let's get started. Uh, let's see, first of all, Lamar Jackson, C.J. Stroud, good battle. No one expected the Texans to win. And uh, Ravens came through, did their thing, and sent them packing. I mean, overall, Texans had a good season. You know, they were playing house money. No one, not a lot of people expected them to get as many as wins as they did and make the playoffs. So, hey, no matter what happened that game, win, lose, or draw, proud of them either way. Bright future ahead for D'Amico Ryan's in that squad. So, what was our reaction for that game? That was a little too close. If I'm being honest. From the Ravens side half, of it, yeah. Bro, yeah. that's all I'm saying. Like they let them stick around, and they let rough. them stick yeah. around, and like, like good for like good for uh, good for the Texans and Dermico Ryan for uh, really for sticking around, and and the defense was pretty good, and the offense had little sparks. You know what I mean? It's not not enough to get over Baltimore. We I think we all a lot of us had them as our favorite. You know what I mean? So I it was going to be a tough task. You know what I mean? But it, they were in that game, at least for the first half, it was kind of crazy. You know what I mean? And then, then Lamar Jackson took over. You know what I mean? So, uh, Elijah, what do you think about the game? Uh, like you guys said, it was, uh, I think it was just a little bit of first half for us. Um, okay. I think the best part about these one seeds being so good and then having that week off is that they're forced mm-hmm. to come back with rust. Like, you know, just sitting here really realizing that if they were to play that week before, and keep that momentum going that, you know, it would have gotten really ugly for whoever they ran into. Mm. But the fact that, and especially uh, Baltimore, how, well, actually San Francisco did it too. They were able to rest week 18, and then you had the wild card rest week. So that's True. a lot of rest right there. And, True. Uh, like, you know, that rest turns into rust for sure. And um, it's, it's, a little, it's a little nerve-wracking letting the Texans hang around like that because – you know, we saw what happened when they were just hanging with um, who were they playing the week before last week? The Browns. Yeah. You know, they were they just were, they were killing the Browns. the Browns. No, they were just hanging with the Browns. Yeah. They were around and then all of a sudden, Joe Flacco throws two pick sixes and now the game's over. Yeah. So um, you know, I'm glad Baltimore was able to get it together and get that win. You know, get out of the second round. Big trust. And um, I don't know, like. Nobody expected the Texans to really win, but you know it's really it's really looking bright down there in Houston. So shout out them, right? Especially um, since the last three years that fired every single head coach they hired from the year before. You know what I mean? Before D'Amico Ryan, and like they 
they didn't know what their situation was at quarterback until this year. You know what I mean? So next, they're taking Carolina a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Also, another team that dealt with uh, some rust, like Elijah said, the 49ers. It's a way closer game than the um, than the Ravens and Texans. You know, thankfully for uh, sure. a Brett Favre esque turnover from Mr. Jordan Love, the 49ers were able to escape that game, but. Who knows if Jordan Love didn't make the, some of the some you know rookie mistakes or like starter beginning of the year like first year starter mistakes they could have been a different story but 49ers got through gritty W they would have to do but now the question is who will be healthy by the by the time the Detroit game comes so how are we feeling about uh, San Fran right now because without Debo I think they're eight and nine and they their their stats are a lot worse than when he's playing as they should because you know star player and all but. We feel confident in the 49ers? I, guess I think the issue with the Niners is literally, one, their defense is looking a little banged up a little bit. I don't know. Sure. They're looking a little slow. That's, like, that's a valid point. I'll also say that when it comes to offense, like when Debo's out, they don't incorporate Ayuk more. They go to Kittle more instead. Sure. And I think that's prop. That's the problem because Ayuk finished top 10 in receiving yards this year, guys. Yeah. Top seven, I think it was, actually. But he was 30th in targets. That's not a little crazy. That's not a little crazy to me. No, it's just they go to him, right, and he'll either catch it or drop it right off rip from a big play, and that'll either jumpstart them or then they'll shy away from him for, like, like partially <laughs> the second half of the game. You know what I mean? It's just like, what the, the, where the hell is he? That's an issue. Yeah, yeah, I think you have to – like, Debo's out. you got to just treat Ayuk as your wide receiver one because behind yeah. him is what, Jawan Johnson, Ray Ray McLeod. Like, yeah, guys who can't get it done, no offense. Exactly. You got to yeah. get your top guys involved. And Ayuk is a top guy. I know people want to say Debo is a wide receiver one year, but mm-hmm. Debo's Debo's really the Swiss Army knife of this team, okay? Sure, yeah. He's Ayuk is your number yeah. one receiver. Ayuk yeah. got 1,300 yards this season, number seven. Yeah. So, so, I mean, they do go to him, but it's just sometimes they do shy away. Like, I don't forget about him. Yeah, yeah they, either he gets doubled early or I don't know what goes on, but he's forgotten. But for San Fran as well, it's. I, I mean, mean, they ran the ball yeah. well. Yeah, but on, yeah. The, on the other hand, with Jordan Love, just like the Texans, um, no one expected them. No one expected them to be Dallas, first of all. No one expected them to be be a playoff contender as well. But future is bright for them as well, as long as they, you know, uh, put some decent weapons around Jordan Love, they build that O line more, you know, get some consistency with the team. They could be right back in it next year. So I mean, Matt McFleur knows what he's doing. As long as Jordan Love continue to make some improvements, obviously the the um, the bad uh, interceptions to end the game or close to end the game was a mistake. But that was I'm really sure, bad. I'm sure he'll learn from it and not turn into Brett Favre number junior. So we'll see what we go, how, how that goes. I mean, Brett Favre is Hall of Famer. You know what I mean? So like to to be his like, I mean, I don't know. It it was a sad it was a sad ending, but at the same time, like I guess that's what you get. You know what I mean? He's great or bad with touch. You know what I mean? It just depends on the day. That's crazy. He'll either throw you at the game or throw you into the game. Oh, yeah. But hey, we'll see. Um, also, Bucks and Lions. Bucks, no one expected. That's, a lot of people like, didn't didn't expect to make playoff leaps this year. Bucks are also one of them. Um, basically, the, they're trading back and forth with Detroit a little bit. But then Detroit pulled away. Uh, Baker threw a pick late game to seal it. And now Detroit... Will be hosting an NFC championship. I don't know who would have thought that would be possible in four or five years ago. Detroit is not hosting an NFC championship. Oh no, sorry, they're, not, they're going. It's, it's, yeah, I'm they're going, going to an sorry. NFC championship. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm gonna say they're going. Yeah, they're, the, the 49ers hosting yeah. it. They're going to an NFC championship. So, hey, how you feel about it? I mean, like you said, nobody really expected them to be here. I kind of thought the Eagles were gonna end up here. You know, when the year started, I figured it was going to be a Niners Eagles a, NFC sure. championship. Sure. Sure. Um, Eagles got knocked out. It really just opened everything up for Detroit. I mean, when the Cowboys got knocked out, it su- super opened up as well. Yep. They're yep. the second highest seed now. But, um, you know, I've been saying this. I don't know if I said this to you guys, but Detroit is not a team that anybody really wanted to see in the playoffs. Okay. Regardless, is it regardless if the Eagles beat the um, Eagles beat the Bucks or not? Detroit is not the team that you would have wanted to see. 
Sure. They're literally built for the playoffs. They're the grittiest team that we see here in the playoffs. So I'm not even sure the Niners want to see the Detroit right now, if I'm being honest. So um I'm happy that Detroit was able to get a first playoff win in a while, but um this is get this game on Sunday, like I'm oh I can't wait. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, uh NFC championship Sunday, right? Yep, yep, they're both Sunday. Uh, who so, you who you want more, the NFC or the AFC? NFC? No, we'll talk about that later. Okay. Well, okay, John trying to skip segments. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just hey man, he's talking up. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. My bad. Go also, ahead. we uh, they also signed Zach Ertz to our practice squad. Don't know if he'll play any role in the upcoming championship game, most likely. But a I lot of people are calling him out for that. A lot of people are like ring chaser. And I mean, hey, I mean, um, let's be honest. He could have said the same. Who, yeah. Who's not chasing a ring? What you yeah. Who's? Oh not? yeah, who's not? Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. Vince Carter. If and, he has, a, and he has forty years in the NBA and no ring. It's kind of sad. No. Offense. If you're a free agent, yes, I'm signing with the best possible team. If money, like money's not really a, something I'm chasing right now. Like I, I want to win. Val, he, made, he made a good amount with. But then again, that's that's and, that's and the Eagles could have gotten, could have went and gotten them, and they didn't want to. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I know they, the fan base was craving. The fan base was going crazy about it when he got released. It was crazy. Yeah, but it's gonna be a good matchup. I can't wait. As well, it's gonna be. We're down to the to the deciders to help figure out the Super Bowl. It's gonna be very interesting. But then also the AFC. One as well. Um, the last AFC game of the weekend. Bills and Chiefs. Back and forth first half. Then they stalled out a little bit. And then the Bills got a little you know, passive. Played for the field goal. They got the field goal. Missed that shit. And then the Chiefs closed it out. So I know a lot of people probably have a lot of reactions towards this. Especially on both sides. Mahomes goes to another AFC championship. And... Josh Allen and the Bills once again lose to their arch rivals in Kansas City. So, where do we start from all this? Bill, do you want to start? Okay. You haven't started yet. Go ahead. Oh, sure. Um, hey, Mahomes is just a different breed. I mean, at this point, <laughs> this this probably is one of the worst offensive teams he's had been a part of in his career so far. Maybe, yeah, so far. Just he had oh, no. This is worse than last year, and this is worse with Tariq. Well, no, I would say last year they didn't have Ty- Tyreek, right? They said they had Juju. It's they better than, Juju. No, it's no, better no, no. I think Ray MVS. Rice is way better than Juju, dog. No, I'm, no, I'm saying in general. This the the uh, the core. Um, sorry, disclaimer. He meant Rasheed Rice. That's what I meant. Thank you. He said Rasheed. Rasheed. Wallace. Rasheed. Yeah. Um, but um, I'm sorry, I meant Rasheed. I think Rice. this 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 core wasn't as good as the core last year. Thank you, Elijah. But but I, my, that's where I disagree. I I think Rasheed Rice is better than. Well, they also did have um, Tony out and someone else and Sky Moore out, so they were they were dealing with it was basically Rasheed Rice, uh, Kelsey Pacheco and Scraps pretty much. But that's all they needed. That's all they needed. Yeah, that's, all they that's all they needed. If, if someone is good in Mahomes. That's all you need. But yeah, I guess. I mean, yeah, you could say it's partial Mahomes. I think that offensive line is also that offensive line was crazy. You know what I mean? It was a great, it was a great showing. Uh, yeah. uh, I mean, that defense was pretty good too. You know what I mean? And, and then on the other hand for Buffalo, yikes. I mean, you had everything was, was almost in your favor. You had the home game. Your offense was clicking ever since the loss of the Eagles. You guys were on a roll. The offense, the first half was pretty good from Buffalo, but then they started making dumb plays. The the fake punts, dumb play, seven foot field goal, yeah, that being dumb aggressive, play. dumb as well. And then now you're left questioning. Does the Sean McDermott go? What do we do with the offense? Who stays? Who goes? Now there's a whole bunch of question marks, especially a lot of money that has to be paid too. Uh, was, you guys wasted money on Von Miller as well, so just a, a lot of question marks for the Buffalo Bills heading to the offseason, and deservedly so. so. I don't think. Also, before we go to other the other opinions, jo- yes, Josh Allen threw like for 185, 30, and only and threw like 39 times, almost twice the amount as Patrick Mahomes, but. He did a lot of the right plays, and I'm pretty sure it's like the rest of the Buffalo Bills that like didn't chip in when they were supposed to. AKA Diggs, AKA. Oh, so, so you're saying you're saying this is not on Josh not Allen? All, you're not all on Josh Allen. Allen. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. no, no, I get you yeah, on that. Not all of it, but... you're, you're gonna say this L represents a series of L's that hence is a record, and you you're saying even though this yes is the record, and yes. Are a series of L's. This loss wasn't solely on Josh Allen, meaning right. there are a lot more factors. I mean, two rushing touchdowns, a passing touchdown, 
he probably could have threw more because 39 yard 39 times and you only got 185 sure sure i mean he also did he how many times did he turn over the ball i don't think he t- did turn over the ball okay so the, the only turnover was the fake punt i mean there you go i mean and what's no offense i would have just rather gave it to josh allen and been like hey can you run up a play you know what i mean then yep. run that like like I think that literally lost Demar Hamlin in the comeback player of the year award on that play. Like no offense. Like he shouldn't I, even be recommended. He, he had a couple of tackles in that game. I mean, good for him. But I'm just saying, like it, it was just a sad, oh, well, a sad loss. He said well, to be well, well, I don't think he should be. I don't think he should be nominated realistically. Like, but I'm just he, saying. I get it. You know, he came back from the dead. Okay. Yeah. What he do? No, I mean he's playing okay. You know what I mean? But oh, God, he's terrible. I mean, good enough to be on an NFL field. So I mean, barely. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, he made a couple of tackles. Yeah, he missed on that. Yeah, than the average American. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's terrible compared to the average safety. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. I'll agree with that. What else we got for the, the Chiefs and Bills? What were your reactions? Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of with you, Phil. I'm not really blaming Josh Allen for this loss. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of blaming the coaching staff, and I think that's what Sean McDermott should be fired. And if you don't fire him, that's just it's gonna be more of the same. Just keep racking up the L's for me. I'm fine with that. Keep racking up the L's. Build your new stadium that doesn't have a dome. And uh, it's consistent that you, on the dome. like, just keep racking up your L's, dog. Like, keep all that. Like, you're you're making all of upstate New York pay for your stupid stadium. And then it's just like, I, I just keep racking up the L's. It's fine. It's fine. I don't care. I, I'd say fire Sean McDermott. That's what I would do, personally. But it yeah. is what it is. What do you think, Elijah? Um, I'm putting this loss on Josh Allen because... Josh Allen and the coaching staff. I I think Josh Allen was playing scared. Very conservative, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's right. And but I'm putting it on the coaching staff probably because that's probably what they told him to do. Be conservative. Don't go for the home run shot. Like you can't have your quarterback scared to play football, man. Interceptions are a part of the game. And yes, he's gonna get teased for it. Yes, we're gonna make fun of him for it, but it's a part of the game. It happens. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure Mahomes threw one on Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. CJ threw one on Saturday. Okay, Lamar's oh. thrown. I don't think Lamar threw one on Saturday, but he's thrown one before. Mm-hmm. Hardy's thrown one. Jordan Love has thrown one. You know, it's a part of the game. It happens. You can't have your quarterback scared to play. You got to let him go. Um, y'all called. They, he's y'all quote unquote Superman for a reason. So, yes, I'm putting this loss on Josh Allen, but I'm mainly putting it on the coaching staff and the person who needs to go is Sean McDermott. That's really, um, he should have been gone May, middle of the season after that Denver loss. <clears throat> but um, other than that, you know the narrative that's getting pushed. Josh Allen can't beat Mahomes in the playoffs, and um, you know I'd like to see how long that narrative remains because I need Josh Allen to get a win here. Yeah. But um, as a Jets fan, fuck you. Glad you lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Yeah, um, other than that, there's no, like there's there's nothing else to say, man. Mahomes is Mahomes. And the great quarterbacks do their job, and they play. Oh, Mahomes didn't throw interception, actually. Oh, he didn't. Whatever, it doesn't matter. No, didn't, yeah. one, he's but he has through. in the past. Yeah, he has thrown one yeah. yeah. this season. He's thrown one in a Super Bowl before. Like, come on, yep. it happens. But like I said, the great quarterbacks, you know, they put their teams in good positions to win, and that's what Mahomes did. Josh Allen did it too. Don't get me wrong, Tyler Ass. You, you are at a lot of fault here. <laughs> your, your sole job is to kick the ball, and then you miss. So, you know, the whole game is obviously not on Tyler Bass. We're not going to yeah. sit here. I'm not going to sit here and point the finger only at you. Um, you know, He's been pretty he's, accurate. He's, you know what I mean? He's, yeah, he's, not, a, he's not horrible. He's, yeah. he's a solid kicker. He's probably top 10 in the league. But like yeah. Said, um, some blame will be pointed towards you because you did miss the kick that possibly could have sent the game to overtime. Mahomes still would have had the ball with over two minutes left. So, you know. Yeah, when you said that, I was just like, oh, okay, so we're definitely not blaming Tyler Bass here because uh, I was not fully on him, but yeah, fact, because the fact that you missed is showing me that you can't do your job. So yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. problem here. Yeah, but then again, what kicker in the league is really doing their job other than Brandon Aubrey and Justin Tucker? Sure, and Harrison Bucker. Also, also side note, I there's... mid I'm mid sentence here. Yeah, well, man, you still got some more kickers. I was waiting for the end of the sentence. What about uh? I mean, there are a lot more. I'm just saying. But well, there are a few kickers that are doing their job, but a lot of them aren't doing their job. So, sure, you know, but like I said, we're not going to f- put full blame on Tyler Bass here, but <clears throat> we're putting it on – I'm putting it mainly on the coaching staff. I think they need to revamp the entire offense. I think it's time to get rid of Diggs. Um, I love Diggs. Everybody knows I do. 
but it's time to let him move on and go somewhere else because, you know, Buffalo, y'all are under a microscope at this point. There's a whole lot of scrutiny. Everybody wants y'all to blow everything up. I think, I wouldn't say blow everything up and start from scratch again, but you do need to revamp your targets, especially because you guys don't have a wide receiver too. You know, Shakir's a nice little slot receiver. Diggs is a good wide receiver one, but like you have nobody else. So figure that out. Um, I think they need to bring somebody nice. in, like you said. But I do think, nice. I do think Shakir can be the wide receiver two next year. I think he's the slot guy. You know? I know, I know, but don't... the same way, the same way CD's the slot guy in um in Dallas. Okay. I think Shakir should be the slot guy in Buffalo. Yeah. Um, my other analysis is that you need to find your identity as an offense and stick with it. Stop trying to switch up because what I saw. That Josh Allen's throwing the ball 39 times when, you know, y'all were sticking with the run game toward the end of the season on a six, seven game win streak. Yeah. Sure. We'll cook. Find your identity as an offense and stop trying to switch it up and play to the other team's strength. Because with you throwing the ball 39 times, you're not going to have a high time of possession. And if you mm-hmm. give the Chiefs a lot of time of possession, what's going to happen? You're going to lose. Yeah. Kansas City was talking about. So, Andy Reid. Patrick Mahomes, congratulations. Welcome to another AFC chip, chip game. <clears throat> Taylor Swift, welcome to your first. I cannot wait for you guys to get knocked out. <laughs> also, Did you guys hear about the ref? No. For that game? Apparently. Oh, yeah, they- I did, I did. Also, also, fuck Buffalo for throwing all those snowballs at the Chiefs players. Oh, I mean, yeah, I guess. That, that's I mean, it's a part of the game, for real. But yeah. I heard about the ref thing. The yeah, ref thing is yes. very interesting. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see how that plays out. Come. Wait, what what ref saying? Uh, the oh, NFL assigned a ref uh, to the Baltimore game or whatever, and apparently one of the refs they assigned uh, throws sixty percent more flags on the uh, home team than than the away team or whatever. Oh, the, I don't know. The, the number is actually that um, there's a f- home teams win the forty percent of the games that he refs. That's what. Oh, uh, is it? Or I oh, thought it was. Damn. I thought he threw sixty more percent of the flags at the other team. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. There, also, there are other numbers there. Fun fact: since 2020, the team who beat Josh Allen lost the next playoff game. So. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Texans 2020, they lost to the Chiefs. Uh, Chiefs beat Josh Allen 2021, they lost to the Bucks. Uh, Chiefs beat Josh Allen 2022, lost to the Bengals. 2023, the Bengals beat Josh Allen. They lost to the, the Chiefs after that. And now Mahomes beat Josh Allen. Does he lose to Lamar Jackson? So what are we thinking? They put this ref here to, uh, to uh, I'm just saying, you know what I mean, reverse I that curse. That hey. I mean, I'm just, I don't know. Anyway, you know what I mean? Listen, I'm going to say this. I know we're not at this segment yet where we're doing pickups, but I hope this curse stays because I cannot take another Taylor Swift game. I cannot take it. I can't Is that bad, it. really? I, can't take I don't it. think it was that bad. I thought it was all right. I can't take it. I love Donna really? Kelsey. I love Jason Kelsey. Yeah. I love to see them support their brother, Travis, in the Super Bowl. Sure. But Taylor Swift got a guy. Oh, Lord have mercy. I cannot take it. No, that's, that's, what, that's, that's what the NFL wants, though. Bullshit. Yeah, I but think a lot of people are interacting with it. The, the, gen, the, the agenda that they're probably trying to push, the script that they're trying to push, is probably going to end up being Taylor Swift versus Eminem, okay? But be crazy. I can't take it. I can't. Take oh yeah, it. I've, I've heard those rumors. I've heard those rumors. But at the same time, like it's just like, you know, you know, Eminem doesn't care. You know what I mean? Like no one's gonna care. I mean, I don't know. Like, Eminem, Eminem cares. He's a Detroit. He's from Detroit. No, yeah, he's from Detroit. I don't think he, he's gonna like actually like. I don't think there's actually gonna be beef. You know what I mean? He doesn't let anyone. Was, like, no, there's not gonna be actual. Yeah, beef. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just saying. Mean? That's what the NFL wants. No, but that's what the NFL wants. What I think they're going to push is literally having Taylor Swift and Eminem at the Super Bowl. Eminem's probably going to lead Detroit out if they make the Super Bowl. Let's be honest here. We need Eminem to diss um, Taylor Swift the way he dissed dissed MGK a while back. We need that. Why not? That'd be suicide. Why not? Suicide to Eminem. Eminem? That'd be crazy. The, if, I mean, if anyone can survive it, that, it would be I mean, career suicide. It would be. Crazy. It would be career suicide. Realistically, I'm just. It is what it is. No, I'm just saying. I and I do think. I do think realistically, everyone no, respects no. everybody. You know what I mean? Because everyone's worked with other artists. You know what I mean? Like Rihanna and Taylor Swift worked together. Rihanna and Eminem worked together. You know what I mean? Like, um. So hey, that's the recap of the division weekend, AFC Championship 
NFC Championship coming up this weekend. So hey, let's let's get to the pick'em. Let's get who we think will win. Who uh, we think will go to the big bowl. And I think we need an announcement right now. I think we need okay. a little little announcement real quick. Um, Phil, are we tied? In yeah, I was, I was about to say that. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Buffalo, apparently. That's right. You know, home field advantage. They still want to choke to Patrick Mahomes. Crazy. That's right. So Buffalo, um, thank you. That was a Super Bowl. We're gonna go. NFC Championship first, then AFC Championship first, because I feel like AFC Championship is going to be big of a draw, more bigger of a draw. Since I don't know why they're not the night game, but three o'clock it is, I guess. But it is what it is. That's crazy. I think yeah. that's crazy. But it's going to be Detroit San Fran at night at six at six, and then KC Baltimore at three. So we're going. But to they're Detroit. they're both going to be day games, low key, because Detroit, yeah. Are, you know what I mean? I, like, I how, like, why are they doing that? Yeah. That's it's why like, because San Francisco's all the way on the West Coast, whereas Baltimore's on the East. They'll be fine. The West will be fine. They can watch the game at. You don't like, want to put you don't want to put San Francisco on have it giving them a twelve noon game and have, let Baltimore play at six thirty at night. Like no, yeah. they want to let them play at the same exact time. That's what I it know. Is. I, but I I rather I rather just play it like I rather than play at seven or whatever Eastern. You know what I mean? They can play it like six or five. You know what I mean? Make it somewhat of well, a night element. They could have they could have put uh, Baltimore San Francisco a little earlier. I mean they could have let them play like a two o'clock game, but. You know their games that um, I said Baltimore, San Francisco. I'm I meant I meant San Francisco at like at seven San, at night. San Francisco you know? and Detroit putting the, putting them at six at night is three o'clock West Coast time, which is a good time for Sunday. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I just think the AFC Championship should have been a little more. The, should have been the last game of the night or day since you know. I think it's the more popular one. But me too. But it is what it is. Uh, let's go San Detroit and San Fran. Elijah, who you got? Detroit. Let's see. You know what? Give me San Fran. I think with this roster, with the way it's built, they should be in Super Bowl contention every year. They should be in the Super Bowl, and I think this is the year they get into it. So give me San Fran. Give me San Fran at home. Okay. Gotcha. Up next, uh, Baltimore. Let me, versus- let me just say this. I'm not in pick em. So it doesn't matter what I choose. Okay. But yeah. I've only missed one game the entire playoffs. So Okay. So if you're if you're watching, place that parlay with Elijah's picks and make sure he gets some of the some of the money if you would. And I would like to see Detroit in, so it'd be nice to, you know, jinx me, but you know, I have to I mean sometimes my picks are 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 shadow to copy filth. No, but I do think last year the, the two one suits got in, so I think it's gonna happen again. Gotcha. Uh, next up, Baltimore KC. Elijah, who you got? Oh Baltimore. John? I got Baltimore. Pick KC. Pick KC. Pick KC. Pick KC. Pick KC. No, no. I just I want to see Lamar go to a Super Bowl, and it's just. Ugh. Yeah, I, I think it's Lamar's time. It has to be because it'd be he, fun to run another uh, 49ers uh, Baltimore. Uh, Super hopefully, Bowl hopefully, it doesn't end up like like the last time they played. We want actually a, a good competitive Super Bowl. Do you think they'd bring out Colin Kaepernick and Ray Lewis? And like, do you think they'd well, like, oh, get no. those guys? That NFL hates Colin Kaepernick. They won't bring him I know, up. but I mean, they settled the suit. I mean, why not? They, they, cool no, the they, they, they will not bring Colin Kaepernick anywhere near the NFL staff establishment ever again. But for the Chiefs in Baltimore game, Ray Lewis, Ed Reed, Jonathan Ogden, and others will be in attendance for that game. So they're, they're, uh, I think Ray Lewis and Ed Reed will be the honorary captains for that game specifically. Sunday. Give me some 49ers, though. Give me some uh, – give me – I don't know. We need somebody. I mean, Jerry Rice is guaranteed to be at every game. Sure, game. Jerry so, Rice. Yeah, so, yeah. So, hey, Baltimore, San Fran. That, that's our pick for the Super Bowl. That's Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with Baltimore. I, I, I said it last night. Right, I right, high, right, right, high. I, I feel that. I feel that. Although, so, yeah. I mean, Patrick Mahomes is him, so I wouldn't be surprised. You if he does. I mean? oh. If he does. Oh. He's close, he's, close year, goat, he's close to he's close to goat status. I don't he's think this is his year though. No, nah, I'm close to goat. I mean, uh, there there's gonna come a point where he's only chasing Brady. You know what I mean? If he if I he makes it to so many Super Bowls. Oh yeah, yeah. I he, I think I think I don't think he needs seven to beat the goat exactly. That's crazy. That's cr- that is crazy, dog. I mean, I hear what you're saying. What do you mean? If, he if he needs wins, passing yards, rushing yards for over if a he quarterback. Gets, if he gets like all the records and get uh, some more awards, and maybe like a, like five championships. He needs like six. He needs he needs to get close to Brady, to be yeah. I mean I don't know maybe not. But hey, if the, if the Chiefs do make it once again, then they're they're the new Patriots. True. Plus, yeah. we all see the Patrick Mahomes. I th- I think that's the crazy thing about like 
like America today is like if the Chiefs make it again, they're the Patriots. You know how much people hated the Patriots? Yeah, they'll they'll hate more than Brady. I don't know if they will because of Taylor Swift. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. More, if they will more, of more that Swift. reason to hate the Chiefs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. But still, so um, that's our picks. Um, hey, if, if we're recording this, let us know who you have. In, who's going to win this week? Who do you have in your Super Bowl? And hey, it's going to be a very, very exciting Sunday because I'm going to be glued to the TV to see who wins. So. Um, we have a couple things we're going to do before we head out. It's probably a short podcast. It's not a lot since, you know, NFL team is winding down. So we're going to have a mini contest between Elijah and John. I saw this game online. We're trying out new know. games as always. I didn't tell them about it. So they have no clue what's going on. Ooh, I don't want to play this game. <laughs> it's going to be centered around one team and one team only. The New York Jets. No. Who can name more all-time players, current and past, before one cannot do that? So, basically, you guys' job, name players who's, who, who currently played or has played for the New York Jets, and whoever loses, loses. We'll do, like, maybe, like, two rounds of it. So, who would like to kick things off? Mm-hmm. Nick, you're hosting. Uh, let's see. Do I have a coin? I do not. Uh, John, go ahead. Uh, give me Tyler Conklin, tight end. Curtis Martin, running back. Okay. Wayne Corbett, wide receiver. Bryce Petty, quarterback. Chad Pennington, quarterback. Uh, Reggie White, the end. And no repeats. Is that Brett Favre, quarterback. Okay. Uh, Santana Moss, wide receiver. Ronnie Lott, safety. Uh, Eric Decker, wide receiver. CJ Mosley, uh, middle linebacker. Sean Green, running back. Jonathan Vilma, middle linebacker. Antonio Camardi, corner. And father. <laughs> and father. Uh, Darrell Rivas, uh, corner. Oh, Super Bowl winning Darrell Rivas. Okay, sure. Ryan that. Fitzpatrick, quarterback. Uh, Carl Lawson, in the end. Okay. Joe Namath, quarterback. Oh, Aaron Rodgers. Quarterback. Woo. Oh, wow. Uh, give me Geno Smith, quarterback. Woo. Mark Sanchez, quarterback. Woo. Crazy. Sam Darnold, quarterback. Woo. Tim Tebow, quarterback. Woo. Zach Wilson, quarterback. Woo. Trevor Simeon, quarterback. Oh. oh, that was my next pull. That was a good That's pull. That's right. That's right. That Thank you very pull. much. Thank you very much. All right. Um, right. I'm going to go with – damn, I forgot the guy's name. Oh, well. I guess I lose, right? Or can I keep going? Is that, I'll give you 10 seconds. 10. All right, Brandon Marshall, wide receiver. Randall Cobb, wide receiver. Jesus Christ, man. Garrett Wilson, wide receiver. <laughs> Braylon Edwards, wide receiver. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, There was a time where we had uh, – I forgot his name. Oh, there it is, Jamal Adams. There it is. I'm trying to remember the safety. Uh, J- Jeremy Curley, wide receiver. Mm. Didn't we have? No, we never had him. Nick Mangold, center. Ooh. Xavier Gibson, uh, punt return uh, to win the game against Buffalo this year. Ah, Brickshaw Ferguson out of Long Island. Ooh. Woo! Jeremy Rugford out of Long Island. Mm, Elijah Vera Tucker, same first name. Oh, Alan Lazard. I don't have. A, I don't know it. Oh, I know it, John. <laughs> Give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, you said Alan Lazard. I know but I did. CJ Uzama. Oh, nice. John Franklin Myers. Oh, mm, that's right. Pulled it. Pulled it. Art Scott. Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> mm, Art Scott. Can't wait. That was a good one. That was a good one. I thought you just said earlier. Yeah, I know. Uh, Willie Colley, uh, guard. Okay. Uh, Quinton Williams. Oof. His brother, Quincy Williams. Man, that's actually where I was going next. Give me Thank Brees you. Hall. Brees Hall, same last name. Ooh. 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 That was a good one. Uh, give me Will McDonald, first round pick this year. Oof. All right. Uh, Michael Carter, the corner. Oof. Give me Greg Zerline, the leg. Give me Michael Carter, the running back. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Give me Jordan Whitehead. Uh, three Ooh. picks against Patrick Mahomes. Oh, I, mean, 
I mean, you mean um Josh Allen. But, uh, Josh Allen, my bad. Sorry, I completely yeah. forgot that game. They That's the name right. That's right. Yeah, give me, sorry about it. Give me Nick Folk. Ooh, Ooh, give, let's fuck a head back down. Give me Solomon Thomas. Mm. We have a shootout on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Nah, we're done here. Oh? Nah, we're not done. I can't remember the guy's name, bro. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8. I'm Seven. fixing on a single guy, and I can't Six, remember his name. Five, four, three, two, one. Ding, 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 ding. John wins round one. Eight. Wait, round one. Stop. We're doing <laughs> this. Is these are Jets? We're doing two rounds of Jets. No, we Would you guys like a different team for round two? I mean, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I don't. I mean, it is. New Giants. Yo, who was the other safety that was with Jamal that we were? That we had, bro. Uh, damn yeah. it! He went to he went to the Saints. You know what I'm talking about? I can't remember, I can't remember his name, bro. I, I I remember him. I just can't remember him. He'll right probably come to me when we get off air. Let me look it up real quick. Look like 2018. 20. Marcus May. There it is. Damn, I couldn't remember. His name. Yeah. So Giants, you're saying Elijah? We can go Giants. Okay. Um, John, you won. Start us off. Okay. Give me Jalen Hyatt. Give me Tiki Barber. Boom. Ooh. Give me Saquon Barkley. Boom. Give me Jeremy Shockey. Yeah. Damn. Ooh, okay. Give me uh Kevin Boss. Ooh, replace Harry Jeremy Cop- Shockey for the Super Bowl. Kerry Collins. Oof. Give me Dexter Lawrence. Sexy Dexy. Oof. Daniel, give me Daniel Jones. Oof. Give me Andrew Thomas. Give me everybody's favorite. Oh, I forgot his name already. Damn. Darren Waller. What's the guy's name? Oh, I got it now. Yeah. Give me uh, Xavier McGibson. Give me everybody's favorite tackle, Evan Neal. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good one. Give me uh, Sterling Sharp. Oof. Sterling Sharp? Yep. Sterling Sharp? Is it Sterling Sharp? Shepard, my bad. Sorry. Shepard. Hey, you want to count that as an L? You can count that as an L. Nah, you, there you go, bro. Give okay. me Brandon Marshall again. I just told mercy. Game on. Hey, I appreciate you. Give me uh, Paris Campbell. Give me classical burst. Oh, I like that one. Wow. Give me uh, Steve Smith. Oof. Okay. Give me Odell. Thanks. Give me Eli. Ah, oh, yeah, boo. That's my favorite. I was about to say, I don't think that counts, though. Whoa. Oh, okay. Well, I'll give you another one. I'll give you another one. No, no, no. I was going to say Drew Brees, but that, that doesn't count. Oh, no. No, it doesn't count. Drew Brees doesn't count. Yeah. Oh, do you mean? Do you mean? Do you want me to say it? Philip Rivers, I think, is the guy. I'm no, it's not. No, no, yeah, it, uh, he, he was. I mean, technically, he was picked by the Giants, but he, yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. That doesn't count, though. That's yeah, what I was, yeah. I see something. Like, yeah. Okay, got you. You got another one? No, I, I just said, um, I just said a name. Yeah, I'll, it'll be my turn. You said uh, oh, did you? Okay, uh, give me uh, Kurt Warner. Oh, I forgot he was a giant. Yep. That's a good one. Thank you. All right, give me Matt. Um, not Matt. Sorry. What's the guy's name? The guy that was a, he was a running back this year. Uh, uh, Matt Breida. There it is. Nice. Matt uh, ding, ding. Give me uh, Isaiah Hodges. Oh, okay. Uh, give me. Also, the Giants suck on Madden, by the way, John. Jesus Christ. Uh, give me Lawrence Taylor. Boy. Ding. Give me Danny DeVito. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tommy DeVito, my bad. Oh, that's safe. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. <laughs> safe. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was thinking the other one. I was thinking the other one. The other one. one. Wow. Yep. Give me, no, the give, one. give me Emlyn to know my cousin. Okay. Give me Danny Dimes. I said oh. I'm a... Elijah oh, Wade. All right, congrats, Elijah. Hey. Would you want a tiebreaker for a third team or no? We're, no. It. We're done here. We're done here. Yeah. Gotcha. We'll, we'll do two and two. Hey, that was a, good, that was a nice good. competition. One eight, one on one split. Jets versus Giants. Elijah versus John. Hey, that, I thought that was a nice little competition. What, that was pretty long, you, too. For the Jets round, it was like maybe like 40, 50 players right there. Pretty wrong, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. The Jets round, you can clip. You can cut the other one. No, we're you know probably, what I mean? I'm them both. Fuck that. Oh, so, damn. hey, just a mini competition between the guys. We have other podcast segments down below. Make sure you tune in. So, wow. So, um, before we head out, we're going to do a, a little grid. Hopefully with a reliable grid website because all the other ones want to shit the bird. But, um... Let's see. Because this one I found, it has all different sports, NBA, WWE, NFL, you name it. You name it. So we're going to pull it up right now. 
Hopefully we're good. Go. Go with this. Okay. So you see the top, you see the left. Who would like to go first? Oh, I can't see. Let me know what you do. Uh, I'll go first. Okay. Uh, ten NFL seasons. Jets. Give me. Give me Chad Pennington. Okay. Damn! Exactly ten. Good lord. Oh, 1.9. Hey, good pick. Uh, John, you want to go first or next for me? Uh, I'll go first. Uh, first round pick. Uh, first round pick, uh, Chicago Bears. Give me Justin Fields. Uh, quick and easy, quick and easy. Let's just get it all. Hey, uh, 10 career interceptions, defense. Did the Real Rivers have 10 career interceptions? Yes. Yeah. I had like three seasons in a row. Like You should have said Kermarty or something. Someone, you know what I mean? Well, I'm just I want to pick a player. I want a championship with the Patriots. two hours. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh. Come on now. What do I know? Hmm, Super Bowl winner, champion. Oh, yeah, all that shit. <laughs> why, why I can't moderated. remember there's two hours. No, I'm sorry. I'm moderator. You guys have come, talent. Come for him. Come for him. 10 career like interceptions defense. I feel like Erlacher had to. It's a limited guess, so we're good either way. Just adds up. If he did, yes. John, we got uh, uh, first round pick, uh, Jets, Dean Milliner. Can you spell that last name for me? Uh, hmm. Dean Milliner. Back. Oh, D? I think it's D Milner. Yeah. D. Ah, there it is. Okay. Gotcha. Ooh, good pick. Um, f- first round pick, Vikings, because I know the Jets passed on them. Let's go, Jettas. Congrats. Elijah, we got. Um, 10, 10 career interceptions defense. The Vikings give me Patrick Peterson. Pat Pete. John. 10 NFL seasons um, with the Bears. I think it'd be someone that played for the Bears. Okay. Awesome. Give me Brandon Marshall. Hopefully I'm right. If I'm wrong, I apologize. He played 15. Uh, yep. Good. Okay. So uh, to close it out, 10 NFL seasons, Vikings. You know what? Let's go Randy Moss. Give it to Randy. All game. Hey, uh, maybe we might use this grid from now, this website from now on, because no complications here. So you might see this grid website a lot more often. On the top, and NBA, and they have movies as well. Wow. NHL, MLB, WWE, college football, college basketball. Wow, they have a lot. So we might use this from now on. Okay. So, hey, nice little grid from us. And we have a bunch of other grids and other games you can check in our podcast playlist. You could press randomize or whatever. Or if you have some free time, get some popcorn. Just watch them. Just because. I I do sometimes because of boredom. But, you know. Um, and, hey, we'll see you in the next one. Wow. So, wow, short today. Um, yeah. Anything we want to go over before we head out? Anything else? Anything on your minds? I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah, that's it. Are you so, guys excited about betting this weekend? Are you betting at all? Probably not. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe um, some. I'm not betting until next month, honestly. And I'm probably next gonna... month. What about the Super Bowl? Oh, right. next month is the Super Bowl. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but, sorry about it. Sorry about it. I forgot that we're at the end of the month. My bad. It's the 25th. Yeah. 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 <laughs> sorry about it. I just the year is flying by already. One month down. Damn. It's just that we're at the point where odds. You know, I can't really create a. You know, a parlay for. Every single team, you know, just to see every touchdown for every team, you know? Yeah. Right. All it's the odds, are, like the odds won't win me a million dollars. So, you know, I'd rather just, you know. Wait off until the Super Bowl. Yeah. No. I'd rather wait until. I low-key think I'm actually going to extend my break until after All-Star Weekend. Wow. Okay. That's not bad. Well, I mean, 
this is how it is with betting, guys. Um, you sometimes do need to step back after you're not winning for a while. This is how it during baseball season. It's how addiction starts, though. Like you got, you kind of have to just step back, and that's, you know, I kind of regulate myself. I capped out, like once I cap out for like two weeks in a row, then I'm like, all right, you know what? Let me just take a step back. So I decided to take a step back. Actually, mid December, I said I'm gonna step back, and I said I was gonna start betting again in February, but I actually kind of like this break where I'm not betting. So nice. All right, make sure if you do bet, bet responsibly. And safely. Also, any picks that we might throw, we're not responsible for how much you throw on it or if they hit or not. Quick disclaimer, just in case. Because we don't want to get sued off our asses on random. So, uh, this reminder, we have some things coming up for the Ball Central community as well. Um, we might, I think we're, uh, we might try to rebuild that Discord. I know we have one, but yeah, we might try to re- recreate it. Um, also, All Star Weekend's coming up for the NBA. Uh, we're gonna we're, we're gonna do our charity event once again. I know Elijah and John are excited to defend their crown from last year. I think I won two years in a row, right? No, I, won, I won the year before. Oh, okay. Yeah, because Phil was on a rant of oh, he won two years in a row, I and I was undefeated. I, last year was your first other. year, I think, wasn't you? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was oh, I, did it, I did it two years ago. Oh okay, yeah. Well, I did it two years ago. So, yeah. So we're we're probably gonna do another tag team. I'm either gonna have Walid or TJ as my partner. So we'll see whoever's available. Either way, I feel confident in that matchup going forward. Um, also, uh, we're we now uh, with the NBA season um, moving along with All Star Weekend coming up and other games, including postseason. We'll be on an app called Playback where you can watch the game and chat and talk to and be on the stage with your some of your fellow creators. It's new. If you have it, you must have an NBA League Pass to watch and chat. Well, not to chat, but just to watch the game and chat along with your favorite creator. So tune in with us, playback.tv slash baller central. Uh, I was on there a couple of times last, this past week and the week before, tuning into a lot of different games. It's, it, it's a very decent app. The stream is smooth. You know, you could, the, the visuals is smooth as well. So I would highly recommend it. So tune into that. Also, gaming channel as well, 200 plus subs. We're trying to get the Ball Central podcast channel. We're like about 18, 19 subs away from 200 there as well. So, a lot of growing this. So, nice. you know, that's not a word, but hey, a lot of movement this year. We're trying to and also increase our interaction with y'all. We love the comments, whether whether it's a lot or a little. Appreciate it is shown either way. So, hey, thankful for anyone that shows love. Appreciate it. So, um, with that being said, we also have a Royal Rumble watch party this Saturday. It starts at eight, right, Elijah? I don't even know, man. I think seven, maybe. Maybe a pre-show seven. starts at seven. Or I don't know. It starts at seven or eight. Just tune in. We're, gotcha. We'll be live. Just make sure you're following. Uh, hit that bell for like notifications so when we go live, you can see when we're going live on Twitch. Okay? There you go. Gotcha. Now, there you go. Mm-hmm. Good job. Um, so with that, with that being said, from all of us at Ball of Central, we're excited for the year coming up. Uh, make sure you follow us on all the podcasting platforms if you want to hear us via audio, Apple, Spotify, whatever company Spotify bought. That was formerly Anchor, yada, yada, yada. Uh, if you want to see us visually, Twitch, YouTube.com, slash Ball Central, Ball Central Gaming. Hey, enjoy the weekend. Have a good AFC cha- and NFC Championship game viewing experience, and we will see you guys next time. Deuces. <laughs>